Somebody's having a good day, huh? Oh, boy, am I ever. Come on, take a sniff. Wait, a sniff of what? Exactly. The stench is gone, isn't it? Uh... So how do I smell? More lily or lilac, would you say? I don't know, uh, lilies, I guess? Lilies are my favorite scent. Finally, I can approach the most wonderful lady in the world without shame. And it's all thanks to the guy that opened the tap for... Wait a sec. Holy fuck, it's you. You're Aiden. Maybe. If that's so, may I ask some of you? There's this certain item I'd like to give my Madeline. Okay, what? A red dress from the old clothes shop at the beginning of Station Road in Quarry End. I know how it sounds, but Madeline, she wore a dress like that once. It'll bring back our old memories from before. You know, from before everything. I'll be a geezer before I manage to get in there. You understand? Meanwhile, some fancy man's been hanging around Madeline. Right, so you don't have much time. Exactly. Look, see that picture behind me? It'll show you what you're looking for. I wonder what the hell is going on in the central loop since PK's restricted access. Some say the renegades are about to attack. Right? Sure, I'll fork over cash for that. Thought I could hook you up. Come back when you need more. Get better. Darn. I'd help you. <laughs> <laughs> 
Found it. Oh shit! Listen, Aiden. There's one more thing. I saw your face when you told me how I smell. Y you were lying, weren't you? What? <laughs> Listen, I. Relax. It is what it is. I know. I rubbed myself with flowers, but it didn't help. I really don't want to mess up this date with Madeline. I need perfume, Aiden. Till the end of the world. If you do it, I've got something to give you. Trust me, you won't regret it. I'll see what I can do. Inhibitor container detected.
Okay, got the perfume. Horse? Uh, how you doing? Um, so the thing is, uh, the situation's, um, changed. Changed? Listen, Horace, if you ask me to fetch one more thing, I... Uh, no, no, uh, this isn't a chat for the radio. Come here as quick as you can.
whole glow going on. Really? I'm... Uh, I'm sorry. I need to have a word with my friend. Just don't keep me waiting. That's not Madeline, is it? I, I know what you're thinking, but it's not like that, Aiden. She's the one who came on to me. That bath, man. I think it gave me... It's the confidence, man. Women sense it. What about Madeline? I love her, you know, but... I mean, did you check out Ada? Never even come close to a beauty like that before. And she's great to talk to. Uh, and we both like climbing. And she laughs at my jokes. I mean, not many do, mind you. She came up to me and just sort of latched on. Fuck. Fuck, who do I choose? Sometimes a bitter truth is better than a sweet-smelling lie. I mean, you barely met that Ada, right? But the way you looked at that picture of Madeline, and how you were still thinking of her after all this time, <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. You're young, but I gather you've seen your share, being a pilgrim and all. Out of candles. I've heard stories about an incredible rose garden inside one Need of the houses. Need something? South of Quarry. Bring more of those. I wonder if it's still there. You'll need that. Later. When we're on a break here, I... Nobody? Ever again? That sounds a bit extreme. Well, you think so? What do you think is the first step in loving yourself? You seem to know the answer. Why don't you tell me? Flowers. Flowers? Precisely. Nowadays, I'm hanging around near the metro station in considerable safety and all. But before I joined the PKs, I used to live down in Trinity. I had a shop there, the Blooming Tulip, near the bazaar when it was still the Church of the Holy Trinity. I was raised in an orphanage among a multitude of apathetic people. <laughs> Maybe that's why I turned to flowers. But after the outbreak, people stopped buying them. Well, that's understandable. Certainly, but... Uh, there was this old lady I basically kept the store open just for her. She'd come every day, as if nothing had changed. Her visits were the highlight of my day, until one day she didn't show. What happened to her? Her flowers ate her alive. How should I know? I was growing these special pink roses for her. It was her last order, and I simply couldn't throw them all away. So I kept one of the roses and dried it, just for her. 
She'd be delighted to know that you never forgot her. Yeah. If only I could get that rose to her. Could you take it? She never said where she lived precisely, but I asked her once where she kept all her flowers. She said, in a beautiful house made of glass, where the old mound used to be. Here, take the rose. Please find the house and give it to her, if she's still there. A house made of glass reminds me of that flower lady. Hmm. Maybe I should check it out.
Farewell, flower lady. So this is her story. I understand now why she went to his flower shop every day. Her son should know that he was loved. It's glowing now. My little brother is here, but it wasn't glowing a moment ago. Learning the ropes and following oh, okay my footsteps. Yeah, I found her. I'm afraid she she had passed away. She was with her flowers. So she died in peace. She did. Yes. She wrote a letter and actually mentioned you. She did. Yes. Here. I think you should read it. This old lady was... my mother? So many times as a kid, I imagined how she'd look. I'd see other kids at the park with their mothers, and... I'd have this knot in my stomach. Feeling I could never see mine. Knowing I could never hold her hand. Thinking she never even cared. When, in fact... She did care. I did see her every day for years. I never expected that she... <sighs> Maybe this is why I couldn't throw away her flowers. Thank you, Aiden. Love isn't dead after all. I'm, uh... I'm gonna need some time alone now. <sighs> Thank you for giving her the rose. I'll uh, see you around, Aiden. Hakon. Uh, you're finally here. Let's go. When Yana heard you were coming, she grabbed Sarah and they left. Seems they weren't too fond of you. Hey, where are we at? Uh... Ah, what? Fucking hell. Uh... Calm down. Just let me see. Let me see. Ah, I'll help. Fuck. Wait. I'll help. Ah. Show me. Relax. You're gonna pull through. What's that? The wound from the Lazarus? You say you killed Lucas? If not for those brass knuckles, it would only took a few seconds to do the job. Ah, I thought he was a better fighter. Ah! The fuck are you saying? Ah, no point denying it with this wound, right? So you carved out his tattoo and planted it on Barney. Ah, Walt, he ordered the kill. You're working with Walt and you didn't tell me? You piece of shit. Oh, you don't get it, kid. Walt would have killed me, you see, like he killed Dylan. And anyone who defies him. I have to get out of here, get it? I couldn't have told you. Why? You know he's the one who tortured me in the past. I didn't tell you in order to protect you. So what if you find out something about your sister? Waltz will kill you. 
Where is he? Where is Waltz? Supposed to meet him under the electric car factory in the GRE tunnel. Hey, then I'm fucking dead here, understand? They're gonna kill me. You'd leave me. You'd leave me now. I should leave you to die for what you did. Why wouldn't you? I'm gonna find that sniper first. Ah. <laughs> Really? You do that for me? A life for a life. After that, we're fucking done. You see that goddamn sniper? No, nothing. Use your binoculars. Shut up. I'm done listening to your sage advice. Let's leave it at that. Those bolts fly far and fast. Find something to hide behind. Tell me something I don't already know, Hakon. <laughs> I got eyes, Hakon. Aiden, you all right? Uh, yep, I'm fine. Clever fucker. Shut the tanks. Oh. 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 Out for all the chemical waste. I got eyes, Hakon. I'm a sitting duck. Run, boy. Run. That prick's got an eagle eye. I see him, Aiden. He's sticking to the roof. Go. Drop the ladder. Well, so much for surprise. We figure something out. Still in one piece? <clears throat> for now, yes. I gotta get behind him somehow. Oh, fucking William Tell. Forget to me like that. Who else wants to kill you, Hakon? Ader? The, uh, the PKs? I lost track ages ago.
Hakon! Uh, is this about the killing Lucas, sir? Tell Hakon that it's not over wait. yet. Hey, 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 wait, hey, hey, wait, 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 wait! Ah. Ah. Hakon, you still alive? Yeah, my meter's still running. Hakon, yeah, she got away. But you're safe. For now. Yeah, and I don't think she likes you. That sounded personal. Personal, huh? Doesn't usually narrow it down. But I know who it is. Watch out for her, Eden. She's one of the most dangerous people you'll ever meet. And yeah, noted. Now I'm going to the central loop. Beware of Waltz, Eden. Renegades have appeared all over the center, and he's working with them. He's looking for the key you've got. I'm done listening to your advice. Sophie. I'm gonna need your help getting to the center. The guy who was supposed to get me there, he... Well, things got complicated. Ader's men are still fighting. They barricaded themselves inside the tunnel. I can't help you. What about our agreement? Relax. Listen, there's another way through. An old tunnel under the hills near the Tango Motel. It was used by smugglers. Peacekeepers didn't even know about it. It's been closed for years. But if you manage to start the generators, you might be able to get to the center. And <laughs> you're telling me this just now. Sorry, Adam. I want to help you. But most of all, I have to help the bazaar. Good luck, Pilgrim.
Yeah, kind of. Bit busy. Just letting you know, we've detected movement among the PKs. They're looking for you. Take care, and good luck. GRE tunnel. This could be the place Hakon talked about, but no sign of Waltz.
Yeah, maybe there's some kind of generator around here. Just what I needed. Behind door number one. Hey, you, you don't call, you don't write, and it was such a promising friendship. Waltz ordered Lucas's death. Detective Aiden won't rest until he solves the case. You expect me to believe you? Why would I? Because Waltz is here. Hang on. Boys, search the tunnel. Why would Waltz have Lucas killed? To weaken the PKs, to put a wedge between you, spread chaos. I don't know his plans. Fucking hate politics. And you picked the wrong side. What else is there to discuss? Aider, Aider, they're attacking the headquarters. Bizarians, they took the metro station. What the fuck? Come on, grab that door. This gun did it. What the fuck? Quiet. I warned you, Aider. The electricity's off. We need to find the fuse box. What's going on here? Who turned it off? Who do you think? You're gonna be a smart ass now. I'm just saying, let's get him. Hmm? Well, you can't escape anyway. Okay, search for the fuse box. There should be a utility room nearby. Hepa, check the other entrance. You two search that tunnel. It's a maze, but if Waltz is hiding here, he had to leave a trail like any slug. We're waiting, Aiden.
Grandpa, do you have anything? There are some wires, but it's all flooded. This doesn't look good, Lieutenant. The equipment's been shut down for 15 years. Keep looking. Hopefully that's not the reason for the short circuit. Someone was here. They yanked out the cord. Whoever could get past that must have been pretty limber. <clears throat> Damn. Someone must have locked that door. <clears throat> Jack Matt's leash. Save it for your trial, just before they cut your head off. Do you really <clears throat> think that's how this is going to play out, Lieutenant? Lucas's death was just the beginning. You admit you hadn't killed. Take him. Why does his death bother you? You're not enjoying your new role. New status, new challenges, new possibilities. Don't I deserve a thank you for making this possible? Nicely put. Now enough of your crap. Coffee, Pepper. I'm glad you finally joined us. Shut up, Walt. Now, give back what you stole from me. Give back the key, boy, or you will all die. Fuck! Pepper! What are you waiting for? Kill it! to pretend he's a grown-up, but he's no grown-up, just a precious little boy. Ugh! <laughs> 
What the hell? My head is pounding. What's happening to me? What happened here? Walt says the GRE key. This is it, Waltz. I'm coming for you.
You? I already killed you once. This time, I'll do it right. You're one of my curious. Good. Before I kill you, you'll get a chance to witness something spectacular. Everything comes full circle. We return to the beginning. And now, you will witness history in the making. A history? Five years old! You thought you kids! We were kids! You were part of something greater. You owe it to me that you are still alive. That you are stronger than others, special. That you are stronger than I could have imagined. Yet not as strong as me. Any last words? What have you done to my sister? Sister? What have you done to Mia? Aiden, you're alive. <laughs> <sighs> Run! Uh, wait, I gotta... I gotta take... What the fuck? Run! He's transforming! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Now talk. Who the fuck are you? I'm Aiden. And you? Why are you helping me? Show me your arm. Come on. I won't bite. Well, not hard. We have something in common. I was one of that crazy fucker's subjects, too. Hey, Mia? Did you know a girl named Mia? Mia? No. Who's Mia? She's my sister. We were in a GRE place together. I have to find her. Well, if she's alive, she must be pouring herself with water somewhere in the city. What? Not that I'd blame her. What, what are you saying? Fuck you! Whoa, Gadjo. Sign of the times. The world we live in. Just saying. I have to find her. 
Well, first, let's fuck out of here. Not sure we managed to ditch that psycho. Hey, wait! Hell, she's fast. <laughs> 